English idioms with common verbs. 1. Hit the books. Literally, hit the books means to physically hit your reading books, but this phrase is actually used to say that you're going to study. Sorry, but I can't watch the game with you tonight. I have to hit the books. 2. Hit the sack. The literal meaning of this would be physically hitting or beating a sack, a large bag, but idiomatically, it means you're going to bed. You can also say hit the hay. It's time for me to hit the sack. I'm so tired. 3. Twist someone's arm. To twist someone's arm would be rather painful if you took it literally, but it really means they've been convinced to do something they wouldn't have done otherwise. I wasn't going to go to the party, but my friends twisted my arm and got me to go. 4. Stab someone in the back. While it still hurts, the idiomatic meaning of this phrase is not nearly as painful as literally being stabbed. What this actually means is to hurt someone who trusted you by betraying them. I can't believe she would cheat and stab me in the back like this. I really trusted her. 5. Lose your touch. No. This doesn't mean you've lost your physical sense of touch. To lose your touch actually means to lose a skill you once had. She used to be the best hairstylist in town, but she's really losing her touch. 6. Sit tight. This does not mean you sit down and hold your body as tightly as you can. If a person tells you to sit tight, what they really want you to do is wait patiently. Sit tight while I go see if Mr. Henkel is ready to see you. 7. Pitch in. This phrase may once have had a literal meaning to do with farm work, think pitchfork, but it isn't used that way now. Figuratively speaking, it means to contribute, give, or to join in. Let's all pitch in a few dollars so we can buy Sally a really good present for her birthday. 8. Go cold turkey. To go cold turkey means to suddenly stop a usually dangerous behavior, such as drinking alcohol. A person who suddenly quits something addictive can suffer from pale skin and goosebumps, making them look like a cold, uncooked turkey. I quit smoking cold turkey and never felt the need to go back. 9. Face the music. If someone tells you to face the music, they want you to deal with the reality of a situation and accept all the consequences. You need to face the music. You failed because you didn't study, so you need to take the class again next semester. 10. Ring a bell. When someone says something that you may have heard before, but don't remember entirely, you can use this phrase to let them know it's familiar but you may need a reminder. That name rings a bell, but I can't quite remember where I know her from. 11. Blow off steam. If you're experiencing some strong feelings and need to calm down, you can blow off steam by doing something to get rid of the stress. If my mom gets mad, she'll usually go on a run to blow off some steam. 12. Cut to the chase. When somebody tells you to cut to the chase, it means that you've been talking too long and you need to get to the point. Be careful how you use this idiom. It could be rude or disrespectful if used with someone like a boss or teacher. Hi, guys. We don't have much time here, so I'm going to cut to the chase. English idioms with common prepositions. 13. Up in the air. If someone tells you that things are up in the air, it means that a situation is uncertain or unsure. It's as though a ball has been tossed upward, 
and no one knows exactly where it will land. Our plans for this weekend are up in the air until Jen tells us when she gets off of work. 14. On the ball. If you're on the ball, it means that you're very quick to understand things or react quickly and correctly to a situation. Wow. You've already finished your assignments. They aren't due until next week. You're really on the ball. 15. Get over something. Imagine something happens that upsets you, but as time goes on, you stop feeling as strongly about it. This means that you've gotten over it. You no longer worry about it and it no longer affects you in a negative way. It took a while, but I finally got over breaking up with Chandler. 16. Over the hill. If you're getting older, especially over 50, and can't be as physically or socially active as you used to be, you might say you're over the hill. Be careful with this idiom, though, since it's rude to say it about someone else. I had to slow down after my knee surgery, but I don't think I'm over the hill just yet. 17. Through thick and thin. When you're loyal to someone, you support them no matter what happens, good or bad. This is an idiom you can use to say so. Roger and Sally made it to their 50th anniversary because they stood by each other through thick and thin. 18. Off the chain. If you watch, America's Got Talent, you may have heard host Mel B exclaim that an act was, off the chain. That means it was especially exciting or impressive, usually in a good way, though the expression can also mean, out of control. The Spice Girls concert was off the chain. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.